through the carbonate, that's how I got free. Drop it back off because there's no stopping me. Postmodern player, sample tastic, flows it frastic. I get drastic, hey, watch the plastic. Yo, I name check and leave you drastic. Welcome to the MacGuffin, episode 172. I'm Spencer. I'm Greg. Today we're doing our DVD rundown. Boom. For the week of July 24th. Mm -hmm. Can't believe the month is almost over. I know. Uh, Batman. Oh, that was oh, awesome. Oh, did you love that yeah, movie? Yeah. yeah. Who knew? Who knew? Who knew? Who knew it would be good? I know. How surprising. Um, right? Sadly, we're following up that excellent, excellent uh, film with a kind of paltry week of DVD yeah, releases. Yeah, yeah. Like, we really had to dig like deep. Like the week leading into. The week yes. leading out no, is I think, equally I think, as sad. I think this one's even tougher. Yeah. Um, there, are, there are a few that I thought were pretty cool. Mm -hmm. But for the most part, it's just like, oh, yeah. I have to go like pages deep on Amazon yeah. to find yeah. anything worthwhile. When you're in double digits, you know you've gone too far. Yes. Uh, the first one we're going to talk about is a film from this year. Mm -hmm. Horror film. I'm a fan of. Mm -hmm. We're talking Silent House. Ah, uh, yes. This is the one directed by Chris Kentis and Laura Lau. Mm -hmm. who, Remake, right? Rem yeah, yes. Of a Spanish film, I, I want to say. Like, Portuguese yeah. or I think something like right. that. Yeah. Um, anyway, interviewed them on this podcast. Oh, look, so, look yeah. at this guy. They Exclusive did Open Water. Here at <laughs> We're not gonna do that again. <laughs> they did. They had previously directed Open ah, Water, yes. which wow. was a great little mm -hmm. horror film. Uh, this is the one that stars um, Elizabeth Olsen, mm -hmm. uh, who's sort of trapped in a house. It's one. Uh, take yes, the entire yes, film. Yes, that's right. And in real time, I believe, yes, right? Yes. yes, well, it's one take. So. Well, well, yeah, but... <laughs> <laughs> that would be... Shut up, Spencer! <laughs> I don't know if you will like fast I know forward. how takes work! Yes. And, uh, you know, the film itself is kind of interesting. I thought the ending kind of, like, ruined it for me. Mm. Uh, but I liked the experience quite a bit. I thought mm. it was very well done in terms of that. That being said, you know, the release is sort of a mixed bag. Mm. you got the Blu-ray, DVD, digital, copy, and ultraviolet. Okay. Which covers so all... Off on good base. Covering all your watching yeah. options. Mm -hmm. Sadly, in terms of special features, the only one that you have is an audio commentary by mm. Chris Kentess and Laura Lau. And they're very interesting. I'd yeah. definitely like to hear from them, mm -hmm. but I would like more yeah. about more the More about the, the I mean, continuous shot. You could do I a mean, whole featurette on yeah, the fact that Yeah, I mean, that the... seriously, I would like to hear from Elizabeth Olsen mm -hmm. working, trying to act in that sort mm -hmm. of situation. I would like to hear... Like all sorts prop of... people, how, lights, how you keep stuff totally, together. Totally, totally. You know, I would I'd like... very much like to know more about this. And so... How many times did you have to reshoot the entire movie right. because you didn't get it right? <laughs> I think I think they only shot it like a couple of times or maybe even once. I mean, they, it was really like, you know... All about rehearsals, I believe. That's a, yeah, I guess that if you're hey. gonna do a one take, you don't you rehearse a lot. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So you know, it's 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 unfortunate. I hope that they re release it again with mm. a more mm -hmm. uh, elaborate package. At this point, I would say save save your money yeah. and see what they do. Mm -hmm. But you know, if you're hardcore enough and you really want to watch it again, or mm -hmm. you haven't seen it yet, I mean, you could either rent it from a place like Scarecrow, or you know, I guess always you could can. buy it. Like you can always come down to Scarecrow, get your coffee and your movie. Yes, because it's Seattle, so of course we have to combine the two now. Yes, of course, of course. <laughs> yeah. Uh, one of the interest, more interesting releases, in fact, there are two, but we're only mm. going to talk mm -hmm. about one, is the film Metropolitan. Yes. From Wilt Stillman. Wilt Stillman. Sorry. Well, Wit. Wit Stillman. Okay. Wit. Wit. Yes, I always get confused by that. Okay. It's a very unusual name. <laughs> yes. Uh, first up, I want to mention this because we did a roundtable about this film ah, nice. a long time ago. Uh, I hadn't seen it before that roundtable. I, I very much enjoyed it. It was a very <laughs> fun film, very fun... Um, Funny movie, you know, it has actors like Chris Eigman before they're famous. Hmm. So, you know, it's, wow. it's really interesting. It's got a uh, I mean, Criterion edition, so it's, yeah. it's oh. got a oh, new yeah, that's right. this high Criterion. definition uh, digital transfer um, supervised by Whit Stillman. It's got audio commentary from Stillman, uh, the editor of the film, and some of the actors. Hmm. Rare outtakes and alternate casting with commentary. Wow. That's cool. That's always neat uh, to see. A booklet featuring an essay by critic Luke Sante. Hmm. Or like salt, um, hmm. which is cool. And the other one that we wanted to quickly note, but not really mm -hmm. go into detail, is the Criterion release of The Last Days of Disco, yes. which is also from Whit Stillman. Oh, wow. And also stars like Chris Eigman. It has like Kate Beckinsale and some other people. And it has, that is an even more elaborate release, but, hmm. you know, both of them are good films. Yeah, and Criterion, it's like, come on. Right. And, you know, I, as I said, you know, I, I had never seen it before we did mm -hmm. our roundtable about it, and I, I, I had a very fun time with it and you check out the round table if you're unpersuaded mm -hmm. or get the edition and then yeah. check out the round table and see what you think yeah. compared to what or we come did down scarecrow rent the criterion edition here because they will probably have it 
Oh, I'm sure. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. So, yeah. yeah. Good on them for that. Yeah. yeah. Uh, continuing on is uh, Children's Hospital, the yes. third, complete third season. That's right. In advance of season four coming mm, out, I okay. believe, in August, I believe. Well, I'll take your word for it. Yes. Okay. Um, at least that's oh, yes. what uh, Aaron Hayes told okay. me. Okay. Who I interviewed on this Look plug this we're plugging ourselves, Look you know. This guy. We're pat patting ourselves. It's almost like he does a lot of work for this podcast. You might think. Ah, uh, nah. One might think. Nah, you'd nah. be wrong, but one might think. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, if, if you're unfamiliar with the series, it's uh, created by Rob Corddry yes, about right. a fictional hospital that's mm -hmm. sort of full of wacky characters yes. that is. Um, Filmed essentially like five minute episodes, okay. really, really quick, brief episodes. And this is the on. Is it like a fifteen minute show? One of the fifteen minute shows. It's on Adult Swim, correct? It's on Adult Swim. Yeah. I think I think the episodes are like five minutes, like okay. maybe ten. Yeah, like prob it's, probably the ten minute format. So yeah. Two five minutes in one. Yeah, it's it, they, yeah. it's re they're really short, quick blips. Mm -hmm. They've got tons of fantastic cast hmm. like Rob Corddry, Malin Ackerman, wow. like Bell, Aaron Hayes, Rob Hubel. I mean, um, David quite Wayne a, is one a of the plethora of comedians. Yep, David Wayne's one of the producers. He's oh, been yeah. on it as wow. well, you know. And in terms of the special features, it gives you exactly what you'd, what you'd expect from a, a comedy mm -hmm. series like this you know deleted scenes gag reel mm -hmm. uh bloopers and screw-ups mm -hmm. you know stuff like that so Neat. it's 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 not like the most inventive release but it probably gives you what you want yeah. if you're a fan of the series yeah, exactly so you know that's cool and mm -hmm. you know gets How, your... more power to rob cordry i like the guy yeah i like him too and i, I believe there's a spin-off coming off of the show wow. at some point too nice. so good work know, if you're if you're a fan of it now or not a fan unfamiliar mm. with it now's the time to yeah get into it the last one we're going to talk about is another tv series we're talking about boss mm -hmm. uh from stars this mm, is the series yes. about a mayor who, mayor of Chicago, who is recently diagnosed with a degenerative nerve disorder. Mm, does he start to break bad? <laughs> no. Dang it. <laughs> no. I was hoping we had like another competing cable cable channel show about somebody with terminal cancer making a drug. That's no, that no, funny. no. This okay. this is Kelsey Grammer headline it, which is pretty okay. pretty good, and he, he is very good in the series. You okay. know, it's, I'll, I'll, but I'll let you continue your thoughts. Sorry, <laughs> it's uh it's uh essentially about him trying to hide it from ah, everyone around him and gotcha. the implications. You know, if it gets out, mm -hmm. what that means to him, his career. His career gotcha. You know, um, how it affects those around him, mm -hmm. his, his daughter, his um, colleagues. You know his com his competitors. I, mm -hmm. I don't know what you call political enemies. Enemies, yeah. Um, <laughs> that sounds like a better word. Um, but you know, covers all your bases at that point. You know, Kelsey Grammer is one of those guys that you know in real life kind of a sleazy dude, mm. but very talented as an actor. And it's really hard for me to watch something like this and like appreciate him as an actor mm. and not think about him gotcha. as an asshole. <laughs> but he's, he's very talented. Sort of like, you know, Mel Gibson. Like I, mm, I yeah. think the guy personally is disgusting, but he is still, that doesn't mean he's not a talented guy. It's so, true. Um, that being said, you know, if you haven't checked it out and you're still open to it because you don't have mm -hmm. an implicit dislike <laughs> of Kelsey Grammer, I definitely recommend checking it out. Uh, the In terms of the release, you know, it's got audio commentary. Um, sadly, not from Kelsey Grammer. I would like to very Probably much Probably too that. busy with his life. Yes. But, but, there is a featurette on the mayor, but. and that does have Kelsey Grammer. Ah. So, you know, that's cool. You know, mm -hmm. I wish... I, that's it, sadly. Okay. Um... But it's the first season, right? This is the first okay. season. Good time to check it out because if you if you do like it, season two starts August seventeenth. Nice. Yeah, and this is on Stars. You know they're they're starting to make a name for themselves in terms of producing original content. Mm -hmm. So good yep. on them for that. Uh, that being said, that wraps up this episode. Join us next time for our discussion of Jonah Hill. Oh, yeah. In honor of the watch. Yes. Uh, you can again one of those in honor of with quotes for yes. me. Yeah. yeah, you know it's got some interesting things about it which we will talk about. I'm just saying. Um, but anyway, let us know what you're picking up DVD wise at MacGuffinPodcast.com, Twitter.com/slash/MacGuffinCast, Facebook.com/slash/MacGuffinPodcast, phone number three two three seven six one nine eight four two, iTunes, Blip, Miro, Roku, check in and get glue. Nice. See you next time.
Magneto can't stop me. I'm on fire tonight. Magneto can't stop me. I'm on fire tonight. Even Zod can't stop me. I'm on fire tonight. It's don't even try to bite the sun's eyes. Mr. Spock can't stop me. I'm on fire tonight. The Wrath of Khan can't stop me. I'm on fire tonight. The Borg can't stop me. I'm on fire tonight. Because I've got space game.